Ooh, yo, y'all read the title. Th this is not going to be pretty. Yeah, like everybody that's wondering where the stream is at, I don't even want to run the, I don't even want to do the roll the title thing that I do. Like we're just going to jump on into it because I swear to God, every, I swear to all that is holy above, this experience that I am about to go over with between me and the company CyberPower PC that I trusted to get to get my streaming computer up and running in a quick time time frame in my 31 years. I don't think I've ever experienced customer service so bad in my entire life. For everybody that's been around here or if you're new here, maybe you got here because of the title or whatever, like be aware that I am a full-time I'm a full-time YouTuber on YouTube because of Patreon. Like I I say it every video, I had I had to quit my job. They made me decide between basically I had to decide one or the other and YouTube and, and the supporters of the channel and the supporters on Patreon came through and basically supplemented my income that I got from my job at an investment firm and allowed me to do this full time on YouTube and obviously crazy grateful to that and then Ronnie Radke like donated money to the channel and and basically what I was going to do with that money was going to buy a streaming PC the stream was just going to be another way that I didn't have to rely so heavily on Patreon another way that you know I could grow the community like create a different type of online content that than just the reactions, than just the vlogs, just the YouTube channel. And at the end of the day, like, you know, as many people as I can reach and, and as many people can enjoy the content, like that's what it's all about. But I know that it is not really possible to stream off of a, off of a, off an Apple computer, off of Macintosh. So like, I was really excited to get into the world uh, of like building a PC. I know that AMD came out with a new, with a new pro, their new processors. I know Nvidia came out with the new 3080, the 3090, and like, I wanted to get all of that, but because of of like how in demand these things are there was no way for me to like get them and like make a video of oh look I'm building my first PC for the first time I was like nah the only way that I'm gonna be able to do it is to go with a company that specifically builds computers and and, and I had the choice between NZXT origin you know cyber power PC whatever but I decided to go the cyber power PC route and let me tell you, if I could do it all over again, or if somebody or if somebody came to me and said, yo, I'm about to build my first PC, regardless if it's $5,000 or $1,000, like, where should I go? The last place now that I am going to send people is CyberPower PC. And I used to work heavily in customer service. I was on the phone at USAA and I was and I was I was I was in front of people retail sales at Cons Home Plus. Before that, I was in front of people retail sales at Best Buy. And then in between those jobs, I was retail at Sprint. And then I went to on the phones customer service and selling insurance and, and policies uh, at USAA. So like I my entire world has basically been customer service. So I know what goes on behind the scenes. So I normally like to cut a little bit of slack for companies whenever their customer service is lacking slightly. But yeah. Yo, this this entire story that I'm about to go on, you're gonna be like, no wonder he fucking made this video. This this entire computer was gonna be just shy of four thousand dollars, minus the monitors, maybe like thirty five hundred roughly. So I was gonna deck it out with the best of the best, Ryzen fifty nine hundred X. I was gonna deck it out with the thirty eighty. I was gonna deck it out with like everything that you could possibly want, DDR, like like all of the RAM. That's why the computer cost what it did. But I was like, yo. This is what this is why Patreon. That's why people support to Patreon, so that way I could buy these high quality things, and then in turn they get more content because now they're getting content off the PC that I'm building. You know, they said it's gonna be about a month, you know, five weeks because of coronavirus or whatever, and I'm like, that's cool. You know, I don't plan on starting to do this until until January 2020. All this is in November, by the way. So that's all fine. I get the PC. I get I get the email that it's shipped. I get the UPS confirmation with the with the tracking number. It gets to my dad's house. It's all fine. All well and good. I get. Back Back to my house I get back to this little studio space that I got in this house I open it up I'm like filming I'm excited about the opening up process I, I turn it on I could I get like get Cortana and she's like welcome you know the whole thing I set up I set up the whole computer so then I go into BIOS for 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 the motherboard because I'm like you know what let me speed up the RAM into the into what it needs to be because I'm paying extra money I'm paying extra money for the higher speed RAM which I know is not unlocked unlocked right out of the gate so I go to BIOS change the change the RAM profile to up it save and restart computer never turns back on like i don't get anything i don't get any signal to the monitors i don't hear the motherboard i don't hear this fans all that i hear are the fans spinning with the rgb just because it's getting power and i'm like what the fuck, dude? I just spent four thousand dollars the moment the pc gets here i haven't had it for an hour yet and now it won't turn on 
And from this moment forward is where the whole fucking experience just completely unravels. So now I gotta go and I gotta call CyberPower PC back and be like, yo, this is what happened. First off, it takes me 45 minutes to get through to somebody. I understand COVID, you know, it's a little bit different. So the longer hold time. But again, if you're coming to me asking me, would I would I recommend CyberPower? I'm gonna tell you that I was on hold for an hour. That's fine for me because I'm home all day. But for the people that are at work, they have 30 minute lunches. They're trying to figure something out that's not gonna fucking cut it you know so i get online with the guy and he's like yo how about you try to take out the man the ram memory and reinstall try to take out the 3080 and put it back in and in my mind i'm like that i literally paid for y'all to build it and make sure that it works when it gets sent to me so I'm doing all these troubleshooting tips. He's like, yeah, you know what? We're probably going to just have to, we're going to send you a, we're going to send you a, a return label and, and just, and send it back to us and we'll fix it. So I send it back to them. I don't hear anything. I get the notification that it's there. I wait a week to call. I call and they're like, oh, well, I, 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 I haven't even seen that it's been checked into our warehouse. So in my mind, I'm like, the only reason it's being checked into the warehouse right now is because I called. Were y'all going to actually do it had I not called? So they're like, all right, yeah, it's it's in the warehouse now. We got it checked in. I got the email for it. And they're like, yeah, give us, a, give us you know, about a week. I give it a week. And then I call again. And now that I got to get to to the RMA department, which is re return mer merchandise authorization, tech support, returns, that kind of thing. They're like, yeah, we got to actually put you on hold with the department that handles this. This is really why the video is even being made. Like I call. They put me on hold. I'm on hold for two and a half hours and I don't even get through to somebody. I'm like, I got to I got to fucking get off this call because I got to go eat like with my family. I called at like 3.30 and here it is like 6 p.m. and they, no one is picked up yet. So obviously that had me fucking livid. I understand coronavirus. I understand you're short. People are working virtual. There is no fucking excuse that somebody should be waiting two and a half hours after you after they spent four thousand dollars with you and then you shipped them a defective pc and they had to send it back now they got to wait almost two and a half hours just to figure out what's going on with the four thousand dollars that they saw one time for one day in their house that's fucking way unacceptable so then i go to their actual twitter page and they're like oh we might not respond to comments dm us so i dm them and i say basically i'm on hold for three hours what the fuck this isn't acceptable i spent four thousand dollars with you you're losing you're you're making me lose money because of the loss of revenue and the only response that i get i don't get like oh we're sorry to hear that give us your rma number we'll look into it i just get here i'll actually read it i get a canned ass response i'm extremely frustrated with your company i spent over four thousand dollars on a rig only for it to ship and not work after turning it on then i send it back and i get no timeline on when i'm going to get it back i've been on hold just to contact the rma department for an update and this is my third time calling so I've tried calling three times at this point and for being on hold over two hours with no answer. Then I get on Twitter to see people complaining about your customer service and them not having computers back for over two months. I spend a lot of money on this rig and every moment that y'all have it, I lose revenue with no end in sight. This is not acceptable. That was my that was my response to them or my DM that started it. So here's the response I get. Sorry to hear you're having trouble getting an RMA assistant. Current hold time responses are longer than we would like due to the busy holiday season and the effect of the COVID situation that's had our normal operations as we keep our employees safe and continue to serve valued customers please allow a couple of days for an email response or give us a call again at your earliest convenience happy to assist you appreciate your patience and understanding thanks so I'm like, all right, y'all, I'm fucking frustrated at this point, right? I have no idea what's happening to my computer. I'm calling as soon as they open. It's 10 o'clock here, 8 o'clock in California. I'm calling. I call. I am on hold for three hours and 17 minutes. Three hours and 17 minutes. I could have watched the Titanic and then watched the Bob's Burgers episode in the time that I was on hold. The guy that picks up, you know, he's like, oh, well, well, you know, I'm the only one working in the department right now, yada, yada, yada. Again, not his fault, not mad at him. I understand he's just doing his job, but Cyber Power PC, that's fucking unacceptable. Three and a half hours? You expect somebody to, like, take a day off just to call y'all's department just to figure out what's happening with the $4,000 that they spent? So I, I get a hold of him. He's like looking it up, yada, 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 yada. 
yada. He's like, yo, it looks like we replaced a lot of components on your PC. It looks like you're getting a new 3080. You're getting a new 5900X. You're getting a new motherboard. Hey, look, I got it right here. AMD Ryzen 9 5900, two, two terabyte Seagates, HDD, Asus Tough Gaming GeForce 3080, 10 gigabytes, Asus Tough Gaming X570, yada, 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 Windows motherboard replacement. There is no way that all of these top of the line or, or close enough to top of the line, brand new pieces of technology, there's no way that they all fuck up. There's just no way all, all at the same time. Something had to happen when, when they sent it to me and one thing went wrong and it was a chain reaction and fucked everything up. I'm a, like, I can't, I can't say it for certain, but for that many, for six pieces of brand new equipment to fail all at once, there's no fucking way. So basically, he's telling me that they shipped me a shitty computer and they're going to rebuild the entire computer over. So while I'm on the line with him, I'm like, yo, you know what? I appreciate that. I appreciate your, you know, I understand the whole time, three hours, yada, yada. It's not your fault. I'm like, but can you just make sure that the RAM is profiled before you send it back to me? Because that's when I had the fuck up. He's like, yeah, we can do that. And I was like, can you make sure the computer fucking works, please, before y'all send it back to me? Yeah, cool. If I I, I might need I might need your uh, authorization to change the to change the to change the processor out. But other than that we should be good if you don't get a call from me if you get an email from me on friday it should be that your computer's on its way back to you right okay cool this entire conversation probably happened two Fridays ago. So I'm like, bet. All right, cool. It's on the way. I'm excited. I'm excited again. Oh, I like, it's all, all the bad customer service, yada, yada. It's in the past. I'm going to get a computer that works. I get it. The day that I get it, plug it in, turn it on right into BIOS. I'm like, all right, cool. Well, let me, let me uh, save and exit, you know, make sure the RAM's profiled. I'm ready here. Might as well. Boom. Save and exit right back into BIOS. It's booting into BIOS like every single time. Maybe it's just a glitch. Maybe just turn off the computer, unplug it, plug it back in, turn it back on, and then you'll go. Now, Cortana pops up and she's like, oh, let me assist you through setting up your computer. Bet. I love you, Cortana. I go in. She's like, click the mic if you don't want me to be talking. I start moving my mouse to the mic. Shit freezes. Freezes for like five minutes. Blue screen error. So then I go back into BIOS. I click F8 for boot drive on the Aces motherboard. No boot drive installed. I'm like... Did they send me a computer without making sure that the boot drive, without making sure that the M.2 is there? Like nothing has happened. Nothing. I, I, there's no way that I could have fucked this up. All I've done since I got it back and opened it, push the power button. So then I call back and, and then again, I'm on hold for two and a half hours with customer service. And then the guy's like, do all these troubleshooting things that I did the first time that I got it. I shouldn't even be having to open up the chassis to, to touch anything. It should just be working. Oh, well, it looks like your boot drive, something happened to the, to the, to the uh, Samsung drive. I can send you a new drive or I can send it back to you. I'm like, you know, we're not going to do this whole fucking shitty circle one more time. I'm like, yo, at, you know what? At this point, like, is there any way that I could ret to return the PC? And he's like, you have six days on your on, on the ability to return. So in my mind, I'm like, all right, I'm going to return it. But also I'm calculating. I'm like, that means that they didn't even start over the return time from the first time. That means they're going based off of the first thing, even though I've had the computer for one entire day. So at this point, I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. Just start the return. Give me my money back. Y'all are clearly this is twice already that y'all have sent me a, def a faulty computer. This is all that you do, CyberPower. All you do is build PCs. How is this happening? How am I spending $4,000 and all you do is build for a company that all they do is build PCs and they build me a, a PC that's defective not once but twice. Just give me my fucking money back at this point, right? So then they transfer me to the return department. I'm fucking livid. I tweet and, and I'm getting all these responses. Bro, you shouldn't have went with them. Customer service is awful. Bro, I get CyberPower PC units. All, I get them returned all the time to my company that sells them. Like I'm like, all right, yo, you know what? It's fucking my fault for not researching the company, right? So they get me over there and they're like, yeah, 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 we can we can get the thing returned. Um, you know, we, we just don't pay for shipping and you might want to buy insurance for the PC. So that way, in case it gets damaged during shipping, that you don't lose out on your money, because if we get it returned and it's damaged, we're going to we're, we're going to avoid. We're not going to give you your, your refund. So you all send me two PCs and this PC is not light. So I know what's going to cost to return. You send me two PCs, basically one brand new and then swapped out with new parts, brand new and they don't work. I want a refund and you're making me pay for the shipping back to you. Yo, just just fucking process this right. I'm like. Like, th this is this is enough. So then I get to UPS and they're like, okay, yeah, we could return a standard ground $357. So basically, long story short, I purchased a PC for $4,000. I had a broken PC for two days and it's going to cost me $357. Like, yo, do you realize how shitty that is? 
Like, God damn, man. Like, so basically, if you're watching this or you're wanting to decide what cyber power you want to go NZXT, you want to go Origin. I don't know about NZXT or Origin. I hear good things about them. All I can say is if you're asking me where not to go, the first answer and the only answer I'm going to give you is cyber power PC. This fucking shitty all the way around. Shitty customer service, shitty fucking policies about the return. And like, just like bad. I could have waited and bought a PlayStation 5 with almost the same amount of money that it cost to send a PC back to CyberPower that I wanted for a refund because it never worked in the first place. Fucking shitty, bro. Like, what? It's, it's, um, it's almost unbelievable. I don't get the incompetence of this company. Basically, all this to say, like, take my L that I'm taking right now. Take take myself as a martyr, like the, sacri like the sacrificial lamb. Just let it be a lesson across the board. Why, look how people respond to the company. Watch how, watch how the company moves on social media because, you know, it's just... It's, it's telling. It's all telling. And I just didn't do the research when I did it originally. So at the end of the day, it's partly my fault. But really, at the end of the day, do your fucking job, CyberPower, and take my $4,000 and don't return it to me and don't charge me $400 for returning the $4,000. You know, like, fuck. That's it. I'm done.